Hello, and welcome back. Again, my name is Steven, and I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Today I'm going to show you just some quick editing tools that you can use in your editor of Photoscape. Nothing too, too drastic, just your hotkeys and your saving and undoing. So the first thing that you got to do is you got to open Photoscape. After it opens, you've got two options of where your editing tool is, which is right here up across in the top bar or in your utility wheel. So when you open it, it brings you to your editing page. And the first thing you got to do is you got to open a file. Just to make things easy, I'm going to be using one picture of one girl for all of my videos. So let's say I wanted to make this one black and white. You go down to the hotkeys, which are just down at the bottom, right here, where it says grayscale. You click on it, and ta-da. So in fact, I actually didn't want to have this as a grayscale. So you just come back down to the bottom right corner where it says undo, and you click undo. And then you've got another hotkey right here. There you have it. You also have a negative file. And push it and do again. And then what you have here is your black and white threshold. When you click that, it brings you to a different type of option. I have this set to 179 and I'm not too sure why. But you're then able to actually like change the grayscale as to what you'd like to have it done. So you notice on how as I'm going down the black is slowly becoming white. I'm going to give you a lot of a lot of black. This is our model. It's looking really dark right now, but I can actually change the color just by clicking right here and you're able to select a different color like blue or possibly red. I'll just make it less confusing. I'm just going to go back to black. I'm going to push okay. And there you have it. Here's our final product of that. But again, I'm going to push on do for now. And another hotkey is putting on a frame, which is just down here at the bottom left. There's several, there are quite a few options that you can use. Or if I wanted to use a, say a circle, right here, graduate seven. There you go, it's a circle. Again, push on do. Or maybe I wanted to make it look like a notepad. Right here. Notepad all the way down the top. Push on do again. And let's just say I want to give it an actual frame. And let's say a Christmas frame. And there you have it. Put it in a Christmas frame. And this is what I want. This is my final product. This is exactly what I want to put up on my Facebook. You come back down to the bottom right corner and you push save. So then you come up with three options. Save, which is just saving over the original photo of where it was originally put. Save in a designated folder, which is you click this and it brings you up exactly where you want to save it. And save as. That's usually when you want to like change the file name and you can also, as you push that, you're able to put it in different folders. Thank you very much for watching.